Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. One for the kiddos, a lovely, refreshing drink. You can control the amount of sugar, remember that, right? So, today we're making sorrel lemonade. Sorrel is one of those drinks, and I think it's called Roselle in most parts of the world. Some people call it Jamaican hibiscus as well. But it is a drink packed with antioxidants. We usually do it down in the Caribbean around the holiday season, around Christmas time. But there's no reason why you cannot do this all year long. Lemon, sorrel, and pure niceness. Stay tuned. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. I've got a, a pot here with four cups of water, which just came up to a boil. And I've got here 15 dried sorrel or roselle petals, the entire buds actually. Um, I am based in Canada, so this is what I have available to me. We're just going to boil that. I'm going to turn that down now and let it simmer for five minutes. Now the whole idea here is not to get something blood red as traditional sorrel drink. We're making a sorrel lemonade, so we want both the sorrel and the lemons to shine. So simmer it five minutes, 15 buds, and we'll move on after that. So the five minutes is up. It's been going bloop bloop all this while for the five minutes. Now we're gonna add that sort of traditional kick to it, but I'm gonna turn off the stove at this point, and we're gonna allow this to steep until it cools down. But the additional flavors we're gonna add is a, a slice of ginger. And the reason why I'm putting these ingredients now is because again, I don't want the sorrel and the sort of herbal element to it or the sort of spiced element to it to overwhelm the overall um, lemonade. A one inch piece of cinnamon and one clove, just one. Stove off, let that steep now until it cools down. A little patience man and then you're drinking something nice. And while our liquid is still warm, this would be a great opportunity to add your sugar and I'm adding one cup of granulated sugar and I'm gonna give it a quick stir and with the water being warm or hot still it will melt that sugar nicely later on you will need to adjust the sugar to your own liking but for this point that is the base there and it makes sense add the sugar now and all I'm doing now is juicing the lemons and you need about six, depending on how much juice you get out of each, you need about at least six lemons. Squeeze that bad boy there. And I'm just going to continue juicing. Cut that top off. After all, it is lemonade. So you do need a ton of lemon juice. It's steeped. It's done its job. It is cool. It is very cold, actually. I allowed it to sit there for at least an hour and a half. I had some running around to do. But now we're going to strain this, and then we're going to bring the whole sorrel lemonade together. Very simple, man. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make a mess here, but the whole idea is to strain it, as I said. Make sure you collect all that, the petals and the ginger. Not me, uh, not me. We've got clove in there and a piece of cinnamon. Just get that, get rid of that, and we're gonna go in with some mixed essence. And mixed essence is basically a combination of um, vanilla extract, almond extract, cola um, extract, pear, and cherry. So it's a nice combination. It's very flavorful. Um, go out, support your local West Indian grocery store, you will get it there. Then it's the, that lemon juice. We got just over a cup and a quarter of lemon juice from the six lemons that we use. Some good old Angostura bitters. And you will need about a teaspoon. Now just uh, maybe three dashes of that. Just under a teaspoon of that Angostura bitters. We are trying to play around with the flavors too much. And I have here some raw organic honey. And this honey is straight out of El Salvador. Um, the stuff I had out of Trinidad is, is all done now. I gotta talk to my boy again. We're gonna give that a quick stir. 
And the last sort of ingredient, remember we already put sugar in there, but this is where you're gonna tailor things to your own liking. And we're gonna go in with cold water. And you will obviously have to, um, to adjust the sugar content on there. That's gonna give us a good stir, just to make sure everything comes together nicely. And to be honest with you, that is basically it. Um, let me pour it into a jug and we'll talk this a little bit more. Yeah, so in total we use eight cups of water. So four for when we were steeping the sorrel, four for when we made the actual uh, lemonade. But, you know, depending on how strong you like it, you can thin it down some more if you wanted, maybe 10 cups of water in total. You will need to adjust the sort of, um, uh, the sweetness to your own liking. There's a perfect balance of tart from the lemons and that sort of spice from the um, the sorrel. So it's a great way to, to make a nice little festive drink around the holiday time, even summertime. You know, this is a great drink in the summertime. And keep in mind, sorrel has a lot of antioxidants in, in there as well too. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. And you saw your boy rocking the, the um, reusable straw there. I ain't trying to mess with the environment and thing like that. Anyways, friends, have a great Christmas if you're doing this summertime or whatever. You're a rocket man. And if you want to put some rum, as I said, rock some rum in there as well too. Irie, Irie.